So let's start with the eShox overflow box. Um, it's a dual overflow box. There's some sponges right here. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but that catches any extra um, fish waste <clears throat> or anything pretty much floating in the water doesn't belong. It catches that and then it goes down into the plumbing that you see here into the, my sump. Um, it's pretty quiet. It's not loud at all actually. Um, these caps I actually put on here. Same with the PVC pipe that's sticking out here. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it is making a noise. However, I did fix that noise by just simply putting, you know, a cap on that you can get from, you know, an iced tea or that's what, that's what the cap's from, iced tea. So, I mean, it quiets it up a lot and it's virtually silent, but it sucks up a lot of water, like 800 gallons an hour or something like that, but it does a good job. I used to have a regular, uh, pump that would just suck it up the water and bring it into my um, custom sump that I made but I upgraded a lot I got the e shops dual overflow and I also have a 36 Ruby S sump that I'll show you right now so here's the Ruby 36 S sump um, I love it a lot it's, it's a great sump uh, it's 40 gallons so it's fairly big Holds a lot of water, um, but I like this because it has different um, areas, chambers they will call them, where you can put different things, and uh, it runs fairly well. So from the eShop overflow box, the PVC pipe leads down into these two longer PVC pipes that bring the water down as you can see right there normally I have uh, filter socks on them um, I only have one pair of filter socks and basically what filter socks do is it just crystallizes your water and removes any excess fish waste and any waste in general um, it collects it you do have to replace your filter socks uh, every three days However, what I do is I just put the filter socks on the weekend, so Friday through Sunday. Sunday night I'll take them off, or Monday morning take them off, whatever I have time to. And um, <clears throat> I'll let the tank do its thing um, just without it. I have a protein skimmer. Um, it's not the best protein skimmer, but it's working, as you can see, with all of that uh, yellow waste in there. So it's doing its job. I just want to show you guys how much waste this protein skimmer actually does for its... Uh, no, the price. The only thing I really want to upgrade is the protein skimmer, which I plan to do soon. Um, I have a heater in the first chamber and a uh, power head that just moves extra water around. The first chamber is pretty simple. Um, you know, but it gets the gets the sun started, gets the filtration started. Like I said, normally I have the filter socks there. Right now they're actually in the dryer. Just wash the filter sock with bleach. Um, you know, obviously by themselves, put them in the dryer by themselves, and they're good to go. So, if I had extra pairs, I would run them all the time, but that's not the case, and the tank does fairly fine without uh, the filter socks for those four days because because of the rest of the filtration system. The protein skimmer obviously does a great job. So, that's the first chamber. Second chamber is the refugium, and in the refugium I have live rock, live sand, and chato. Um, a lot of chato actually, there's a lot of kopi pods in the chato as well. Uh, what chato does is it collects all the nitrate from your tank, um, it absorbs it, and then the kopi pods actually maintain the chato that is, um, you know, growing because of this light. <clears throat> I mean, the composite, I'm sorry, maintain the chato um, from all the excess garbage in there. You know, they just clean it up pretty much at their home. Um, the chato does grow pretty fast. I have a lot of chato in here. Um, but right now it's doing okay and it's doing a great job. Uh, I never had a refugium before, but for those of you who want to get a refugium, um, it looks nice. You know, it looks really sharp. And it also is beneficial to your aquarium. So. I don't want to say that 
things had been going a lot smoother since I had the Refugium and since I had the Ruby 36S Sump. Um, as opposed to making your own, it's just, the Sump is great. And the Refugium looks really sharp too, so Refugium is awesome. After the Refugium, um, it, the water does flow into these slits right here. And it actually, when I got the Refugium, it just came with this black pad that you see. However, I have a lot of these extra pads, and it just collects extra, um, you know, dunk and all that stuff. So it doesn't really, uh, you know, hurt the tank. I don't think it actually benefits it. But I don't know if you guys can see the water. Um, it just goes through the slits, and obviously it's going through pretty fast, even though it might not look like it. So that's really good. Um, this part right here, this little section, is just where you can put some... Um, extra things like carbon, you can put purigen in there, I have purigen in mine. Um, I have the global ring for collecting extra bacteria, you know, so you can put really anything you want in this uh, part right here. This is just the final, well, second to last stage before it goes into your return area. But um, it's going really well. I'm probably going to take the carbon out today and um, put it in my GFO reactor. That's in my final stage, though. So. In my final stage, I just have my return pump. Brings the water back into the display. I have uh, my GFO reactor that I have phosphate in there. And it's actually the Chemarine phosphate sponge. I just put it in there. It seems to be doing really well. Um, this pump actually sucks up the water. Brings it into the phosphate. Goes in there and comes back out. Uh, it seems to be doing pretty well. No complaints on it at all, really. Um, this little bar right here, this little floating device, was actually for a auto top off. However, I do not have an auto top off, but this is a good way to, you know, make sure where my water level is. So I keep that there, and I try to keep it no more than this. But that's pretty much my sump area. You know, it looks uh, really simple, but it was uh, really pain and a process to get it going. So, for those of you who are interested in getting a sump, uh, I highly suggest the Ruby 36S. It's a great sump. Um, I have, still have some extra room in the side where I just put stress coat and uh, my net. You know, all the supplies that every fish keeper has. So, um, this is my filtration system. You know, it's really well. The eShop overflow box uh, was around 80 bucks, and I also had the um, you know the pipe PVC PVC pipe. I'm sorry, it was very cheap. Protein skimmer that was 100 bucks. The sump itself was like I got it for I got a good deal on it. It was 250. But the GFO reactor, everything costs money, you know, in the hobby. But um, I do want to say that. Since I had this sump, uh, it has made a really big difference in my aquarium. Um, so, yeah, I like it a lot. I suggest everyone gets one. And that's really it. I mean, the next update I'll do is, um, or up, next upgrade, I'll probably upgrade my skimmer. Um, just the better skimmer is gonna, you know, obviously I can better impact on my tank. Um, next update will be on the corals, without a doubt, because I got some new corals I would love to show you guys. But everything is doing really well, and uh, the filtration system is great. You know, I could probably hide those wires back there, but there's no point, you know, no one sees the sump, you know, so. It does its job. The GFO reactor was the newest thing for the phosphate. Um, it's doing well. I'll probably end up putting carbon in there too. Um, just to run them both. See how that goes. Even though the pouches are fairly simple, I'll go down to my fish store just buy them. It's like five, eight bucks. Just throw them in there. But <clears throat> everything's doing really well. So this is my filtration system, guys. This is the Ruby 36S sump. It's a really good sump. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe my videos. And stay tuned for the next update. I post one every week. 
So if you like seeing these videos, subscribe to my channel, and you'll see more of them. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm out.